Hi, this is Edwin from CatNotes. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how we can use uh, parameters in Revit family. This is a bit more advanced, so uh, it's assumed that you already know how to create uh, the family. So here we have the, the ladder. If we see uh, from the floor plan, we have a parameter to control the width. So if I change the width to 700, it will adjust the ladder width. And also if we see from the uh, 3D view, if I change the uh, ladder height, uh, I can also change the uh, parameter. It will adjust the uh, ladder. Okay, now uh okay this is the parameters now i want to have the uh rung uh from this uh first uh the first rung to the last rung and i want to define uh, i want to uh change the number of rung uh, based on the uh, elevation so to do this i have to create a parameter here so this one is a number of steps so the uh, to create this that uh, to calculate this i need to uh, calculate the ladder height here we can see that okay this one is the ladder height from from the bottom to the top and uh, reduced by uh, the uh, first rung and the last rung distance and then divide it by the rung spacing I use the round up so uh, this uh, it will create the uh, integer value uh, remember that array needs to be in integer you cannot uh, you cannot use uh, decimal number so this I also uh, use the type of parameter as integer okay so how we can apply the array first i'm going to create uh, an array okay this one uh, i lock this um, first rung to this this plane so whenever i change the uh, ladder height it will not move okay now i'm going to create the array okay i'm going to create a linear array then group and associate and make it to last last uh, item so let's just change this to five okay okay i want the uh, last item to be uh, here at this uh, at this um, work plane so i can use the line and i'm going to lock this okay uh, we can lock this later but i prefer to do this so um, let's use it and here okay now uh, we have uh, we already locked the first um, ladder uh, first rung and the last rung now how we can control the uh, number of uh, item okay I can select this array any item will is the same will have the same effect so I'm going to select this uh, dimension then I can change the uh, label. I can assign the parameters to this one. Okay, now I already have this uh, number of uh, item, uh, a number of rank based on this uh, calculation. So when I change this elevation to, okay, let me move it here, 5000. You can see that now we have uh, 14. When I when I change this to 5000, it will be 18. Okay, now I have 18 ladder, and the run spacing is 250. If I change this to 300, it will be 15. Okay, next I uh, I'm going to add a conditional. You see that here I have the conditional. Uh, the gates is required when the ladder height is 
six uh, meters of or six thousand millimeters or more. So when when this ladder height is six thousand, it will uh, this value will be yes. Okay, this one is yes no parameter. Okay, so here let's say I click apply. You can see that now we have a cage. Let's see it in 3D view. But when I change this to uh, 4000, then the ladder disappeared because it's not required. So uh, this is how we can control. We can control the appearance, uh, the visibility, by using uh, conditional. So when I create a uh, yes no parameters and this is the statement when the ladder height more than 599 599 5999 mm it will be true or yes so when i put a 5950 it will still uh, no but when i put this 6000 then it will be yes and the uh, catch will appear so uh, to control this uh, you can uh, this one is uh, nested family so when I edit this family I can assign the yes no uh, yes no uh, the visibility here if it's uh, the item is visible um, and also control this with parameters so the catch required then it will be here so if i change okay, this one is a uh, catch not required then it will be disappear okay in this uh, child family it more it will not actually disappear but it will be uh, uh, you can see that it's uh, great it's not a uh, clear view anymore so when i click yes it will be uh, shown Okay, so that's how we can control that in a child family, and then uh, this uh, parameter you need to link that to uh, the parameters inside this um, uh, uh, the main family. Yeah, so this is the you can you need to link this one also, and this is the parent family that control the. Uh, the parent parameters that control the uh, cage visibility okay so now uh, we have all the required uh, parameters like when let's say that we have the ladder height is 9000 and we can control also the ladder width to 600 not spacing to, to 50 we also have this uh, cage height, uh, so this cage height is uh, minus uh, the ladder height minus two thousand two hundred because the the gap from the bottom to uh, the uh, base of this cage is about two meters. You can change the formula if it's required, and the overlap is uh, one meters. So above this cage you will have one thousand uh, one meters uh, above the ladder you will have one meter uh, cage extension okay so that's how we can control the uh, array with parameters uh, you can create a formula to determine uh, the number of rounds and you can also create the uh, conditional for visibility yeah so if it's rich uh, certain height then it will uh, this object will appear uh, so this is how you can also control the uh, regulation so if we create a simple ladder then sometimes we forget to add the cage but here by uh, using these rules anytime it uh, reach the uh, required uh, a certain a specific elevation specific height uh, the cage will appear without um, you need to review that
okay thank you for watching uh, i hope you find it useful don't forget to like the video and uh, follow the uh, catlots channel thank you see you in the next video